Could dental disease and commonly accepted dental procedures be at least partially responsible for the increasing incidence of serious chronic and degenerative illnesses that we are witnessing in the developed world? Some informed physicians, dentists and naturopaths think so and maintain that up to 90% of all illnesses may start in the mouth. Amongst the suspect dental procedures are the use of metals in general and the use of mercury amalgam in particular and also the currently accepted method of tooth extraction which leaves behind the periodontal membrane which may act as a barrier to effective healing causing holes known as cavitations to form in the bone. These topics are addressed in the videos entitled The Trouble with Amalgam Fillings and Dental Cavitations. This video examines the potential role of root canal treatments in causing seemingly unrelated health problems. Root fillings are done to try and retain a tooth that has died either because of deep decay or a crack or fracture. Most patients now demand and most dentists are taught to try and retain as many teeth as possible for as long as possible. This means that root fillings have now become a routine procedure with over 15 million root canal treatments being performed every year in the USA alone. This figure has risen from just 3 million in 1960, so that is an 80-fold increase in just 50 years. Other countries in the developed world are now following suit with the explosive increase in the use of this technique. Dentists who undertake postgraduate training in root canal treatments are known as endodontists, where endo means within and dont means tooth, and this specialist field has developed massively during the last few decades too. The benefit of root treatments is that people have been able to avoid extractions and the necessity of wearing dentures like many of their parents or grandparents. But what are the potential risks of endodontic treatment? In order to understand why root treatments might be a fundamentally flawed procedure, you need first to understand a little about the structure of the tooth and what a root canal treatment is. The bulk of the tooth is composed of dentine, with enamel covering the visible part of the tooth above the gum line and cementum covering the roots of the tooth below the gum line. Enamel is the hardest material in the body and provides protection of the dentine within, which is a living substance, whereas the cementum, which covers the roots, is relatively soft and acts to anchor ligamentous fibres that suspend the teeth in the jawbone. In the centre of the tooth lies the pulp, which is a collection of nerves, blood and lymph vessels. The dentine is not solid, as was once supposed, but is in fact made up of millions of tiny tubules which radiate out from the inner pulp to the root surface in enamel junction. In health, each of these tubules has a cell known as an odontoblast dwelling within it that has a process which extends most of the thickness of the dentine. These cells remain for the developmental process that created the tooth and they maintain the dentine and regulate the fluids within the tubules. The nerves, lymph and blood vessels of the pulp enter and leave the tooth via the root tips and many accessory and lateral canals to serve the living pulp within the tooth. The reason why teeth present a unique problem within the body is because the pulp is contained within the rigid structure of the tooth. If the pulp of the tooth becomes irritated in response to decay or a crack, then just like tissue anywhere, it becomes inflamed. However, one of the consequences of inflammation within the rigid structure of the tooth is that here, uniquely, it can cause compromise or strangulation of the blood supply to the tooth. This combines with the fact that the bacteria that cause the decay or that have penetrated down the crack can spread within the pulp. These processes may happen seemingly suddenly or slowly over a period of years and may or may not be painful. The next outcome is that bacteria that have flourished within the dead or dying pulp will produce pus which accumulates in the bone surrounding the tooth root, causing an abscess. This may be painful and may produce swelling, for which antibiotics are usually prescribed. If the affected individual wants to keep the tooth at any of these stages, a root canal treatment will be suggested. Mm -hmm.